All right, in this problem, we are seeking a transfer function that relates the output torque to the input voltage. So the transfer function we seek is T2 of S over En of S, where T2 represents the Laplace transform of the torque tau2 uh, in the time domain. Now, to find this, our strategy is going to be to relate the second torque to the first torque and then use the one junction as an effort divider to relate the first torque to the motor torque and then relate the motor torque to, through the ideal motor or the gyrator <coughs> to the current and then the current to the input voltage. <coughs> That's going to be our strategy. So this is illustrated algebraically as the relationship between T2 of S and T1 of S and then using the one junction as an effort divider we relate T1 of S to the motor torque TM of S and then using the ideal motor we can relate the motor torque TM of S to the motor current I of S and finally if we can find the total equivalent impedance of the system we can relate the motor current I of S to the input voltage EN of S okay so we'll begin by coming up with some of these relations directly through the motor and through the gear pair in the time domain what we know is that the gear ratio will relate the two torques tau 1 of t over tau 2 of t will be equal to our gear ratio n1 over n2 or simply here the transformer modulus lowercase n this we can show is also the relationship in the s domain of the Laplace transforms of the two torques so hence if we are looking to relate T2 to T1 then uh, T2 of S over T1 of S is going to be 1 over the gear ratio also in the time domain through the motor we can uh, show or recall that the motor torque is going to be equal to the motor constant times the uh, current through the motor and taking the Laplace transform of both sides we can show that Tm of S is equal to Km times I of S and what we seek uh, as part of our overall transfer function is Tm of S over I of S and that's simply going to be equal to the motor constant so thus far what that gains us is it allows us to find this piece right here and um, this piece now to find the two remaining pieces well we're going to need to use in order to find T1 over M we are going to find this by using this one junction as an effort divider and the remaining piece requires us 
to find the total equivalent impedance of the system. So that remaining piece we, we should be equal to the inverse of the total equivalent impedance of the system. Now to use the uh, rightmost one junction as an effort divider to relate the uh, torque one to uh, the motor torque, we need to find the equivalent impedance of the transformer in tandem with the bearing. Now the transformer in tandem with the bearing is just the modulus squared times the attached impedance. So the modulus is the gear ratio n and the attached impedance is the uh, rotational damping constant uh, capital B. So hence we can use what is um, encapsulated in figure C in the box as our effort divider so we can relate T1 to Tm. So using that as an effort divider we'll have um, T1 of S over Tm of S This is an effort divider, so it is the attached impedance, which would be n squared times the damping constant B over the sum of the two impedances attached at that one junction, which would be Js plus n squared B. So that is part of our solution. This is what we've highlighted above in uh, pink right here. Now to the remaining part of our solution we need to find the total equivalent impedance of the system. That means we need to continue condensing through equivalencies. So if you look at figure D, well we have these two impedances off the one junction. Their equivalent impedance is just the sum as illustrated right here js squared plus n squared b. But now that goes through the gyrator which represents the ideal motor. So a gyrator in tandem with an impedance is the modulus squared over the attached impedance. And finally we have two impedances off of one junction so we sum them up. So here's the total equivalent impedance of the system which will relate the effort to the current or the effort to the flow. The this case the input voltage to the motor current. It's not in a convenient form because we cannot readily invert it. So we're going to need to put this over a common denominator because what we are seeking, what we know, is that the input voltage EN of S over the motor current I of S should be equal to the total equivalent impedance of the system. But for our desired transfer function, we need the inverse of this, I of S over En of S, which would be 1 divided by the total equivalent impedance. Thus, our total equivalent impedance, which we've determined, is equal to R plus Km squared divided by Js plus n squared b. Well, we need a common denominator. So we're going to cross multiply r with the denominator of the second piece. And that would give us r times Js plus n squared b plus km squared. Now we all we have a common denominator which is js plus n squared b. I'll collect terms and uh, write them in descending order of s. So we'll have an r js plus n squared r 
b plus k m squared all divided by j s plus n squared b. It's now in a form that we can invert and plug into our final solution. Our final solution, the overall transfer function that we seek, will be T2 of s over En of s. And the first piece is T2 over T1, which should be the inverse of the gear ratio, so 1 over n. T1 over Tm, which we've determined earlier, is n squared b divided by a js plus n squared b times Tm over i, which is simply the motor constant, times 1 over the total equivalent impedance of the system, which would be js plus n squared b divided by an r js plus n squared r b plus km squared. Now we can simplify the numerator here will cancel with the denominator here. The gear ratio here will cancel with one of these here. And our final solution then is the numerator will be km b times km. And the denominator r j s plus n squared r b plus k m squared and that should be oh I forgot one term the term that I forgot there should one 